What is going on there, loop tube? So, Midwest Goon back. Uh, my buddy convinced me to come back at it. So, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a little bit, maybe a video once or twice a month of what the fuck I do. Probably can't say that on YouTube. Yeah, whatever. So, the Midwest Goon is here. So, a little bit of what we're doing today. Well, what we've already done actually yesterday that we were hoping we had the rest of the parts for today, which won't be here tomorrow. So, uh, 21 KTM 125, uh, doing a top end on it, clutch, counter shaft seal, chain sprockets, just a good refresher <clears throat> before the new year or next season. Um, pretty sad. I took it apart. Didn't even need a top end. So I'll be saving that piston because um, I've already got a new one. And here we got the cylinder and the power valve, everything all torn apart. Just needs cleaned, new seals, reassembly, back on the old bike. So excited for that. Uh, tomorrow, there's a shop dog. Tomorrow, going to the pick apart. Going to load up all the essentials and... Uh, We'll grab some parts for the cars. Uh, Miller Time will be with me and we'll be doing cool stuff. So, yeah, I'm mainly gonna do like, you know, bikes, uh, welding, fabricating, cars, lawnmowers, whatever I got going on, just cool stuff. I do a lot of lights, but I've already done them all. So, a lot of good content missed. So, this is where we are now. We're just gonna start right in the middle of it. Why not? What's going on there, you loop tube? Me and uh, Miller Time, we're out here at the junkyard. We just come across this a butte. We've been having a hoot at the time, but I just haven't got the phone out yet. So what we come across here is a Stingray. Now he knows more about shit than I do. I'm here for a fucking Chevy Cobalt. But uh, this thing is a yeah, fucking- She's got a small block in it. This thing's a butte though. I don't know how this wound up here. And I don't even know, middle of nowhere. Oh, they're shitheads. No, dude. The workers here are romping around. We're hollering at them. They're freaking awesome. Uh, this thing's got drag seats in it. This is a drag car. Um, anyways, we're having a good time. Uh, weather wasn't expecting. We were expecting 40 degrees in mud, but you know, that's just the way she fucking goes. So, uh, I'll show you if we find anything else. All right, so we kind of had to cut the scrapyard trip short. We was going to go to a second one, but uh, it started snowing pretty good, and we was cold, and it was kind of just dumb. So I got what I needed for this just on the interior part. There's more parts I want to find for this car. Also, it's just a beater, so I don't really care. But, uh... Yeah, so I'll show you what I got, and then we'll slap it in real quick. Just some dumb stuff, you know. Fast forward here, we are in the back seat now. Um, there's an armrest that goes here. That's what I got. Here's a plastic trim, please. Yeah, it's not the right color or anything, so I just got, it'll be black from here to here. So, I don't really care, it's a beater. I got this stuff for freaking $10. They don't care about plastic. Snap clips and two bolts, so it's pretty easy. And also, looks like we got the piston finally today, so we can finish up the bike. So, let me slap this together real quick, and then we'll get to the bike. Boom! It's done. It's in there. It's clean. Um, it's actually missing a bracket in that time. I went back to the junkyard, grabbed the bracket, put it all in there. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Now into other stuff. Oh yeah, this is the beater too. Needs a fender. Somebody did not do good paint on that. That's how you know it's the beater. And uh, all my junk out here. It's a really nice car actually, but uh, needs a new door too. Door works, everything. Everything works on the car. It's a great car actually. Um, so, yeah. But now we got luxury. <laughs> All right, peace out, turds. All right, welcome back. Back inside. Um, 
got got a puppy yesterday so we're doing puppy things so it's kind of holding me back here and there but puppy's got to be taken care of but my piston that box was so big because my piston and my gear came in so i got new gear for this year so my bike is blue and white and all last year i ran red and black gear so this year i got blue and black gear so we'll be matching matching and this that and the other but uh, i'll show you all what came in i gotta go take some trash out and then we'll be putting it back together and then supercross is on tonight so let's do it this is show y'all uh got chain sprocket air filter all the fluids uh the blue gear fly racing it's all it's all i ever run uh new piston came in got wrist pin rings this that and the other yeah and just to show you how this piston looks look at that the one in there is all brand new so i'll be saving that one for uh backup or emergency or this that and the other um oh yeah had a couple drinks last night and cleaned that completely slapped it all together uh it's not crusty and black and there's much it is uh i am nowhere close to professional this is just how i do things um learn them how i go and i do them the way i want to so you don't have to follow me on my advice um say i wrap my own bike with my graphics and plastics i just did my forks um wheel bearings which you should listen to me on wheel bearings because i knock them out super quick if i put the right bearings in the right spot um we got a crate in the way and a little fluff ball in the way then you got the old old puppers she's just loving this one not really so we'll be slapping this baby back together um somehow i'm pretty sure i had a new spark plug i'm going here off the list on how i mark stuff off yeah see you guys are coming in the end of it because a lot of that i've already taken care of so somehow i pretty sure i ordered a spark plug since i marked off the list don't know where it went so for the heat cycles we'll be using the old spark plug which literally looks fine so but i cannot wait to clean this place up freaking crate freaking trash everything so glad i got the or the car done today that's pretty cool super exciting it's just the little things in life so oh yeah another thing is we could probably go over tools um this is wimpy stuff crappy stuff compared to what i have at work we might do that i don't know what this video is going to entail obviously you can already tell we went 700 directions just in this one video when this is like day four of recording so this is why videos are going to take me so long to make so pupper said goodbye all right so here it is a few hours later um so your piston's gonna come in the box with two rings okay they both got an end stamped on them insulation mm. i guess the letter goes up i don't know just gotta work that bad boy on there though. oh yeah so double ring you'll put your to go to the bottom one you've got to first put it on the top ring then I'll work it down get the next one there's one set there's your second one set perfect you just like you need it now two strokes have a little arrow on them right there that's always going to face your exhaust side i don't understand it whatever it worked that's all i care about so now i'm gonna go take that piston off the bike probably lose those wrist pin rings don't really care because i got new ones but what we'll do what we'll do is we'll install uh one on one side 
outside of the bike and then we'll try and get the other one in on, on the bike because we have to slide the wrist pin in. All right, fast forward here. Uh, piston's in, everything's torqued to spec. Um, now all I gotta do is put on the coolant line, or hoses and then gotta pop this sprocket off, do the counter shaft seal after I drain the oil. So I waited till I did the top end. So if I dropped anything down in there, it's like dust, dirt, whatever. Oil's gonna come out. Um, then I can do my counter shaft seal, nothing will leak. Then I can pop my cover off over here, do my clutch plates and nothing will leak. Top it off with fresh oil. Then we'll put new coolant in it. Every time we do a top end, drain the coolant, put new in there. Uh, everything's supposed to be new. So we got all new gaskets, OE, Vertex piston. Um, and same with the clutch plates and shit like that. That's gonna be OE. And counter shaft seal is gonna be OE. It's a hodgepodge. I got Pro X, OEM, Kinematic, Vertex, whatever. Um, I did get new hose clamps. These KTM ones, when they get dirt and stuff in them, they like to kink and break and fun stuff like that. So we just got new OEM ones. So it'll run sharp and everything. And we lubed everything up before we put it in there. Um, we've already went through and done the carburetor. The Makunis, I've heard a bad rap on them, but uh, I've got that one all fixed up and dialed in. I can't tell if it keeps leaking or if that's just me. I screwing it up, I, I don't know. Most of the stuff is never the bike's fault, it's always mine, but never had any problems out of this bike. So, yeah, let's get to it. Front sprocket's off, chain's off. Um, I'm replacing that sprocket because that one's the original. This one actually doesn't have that many hours on it. But that's an OE sprocket too. That one's actually for a Husqvarna. So, gonna let that drain. Just got it started here. So, as I'm letting that drain, I'm gonna go eat dinner. This has dragged on so long because uh, we were at the junkyard at 10 o'clock this morning. So, yeah. Just gotta ease my way through it. So, uh, top end's looking good. Everything's looking good. So, hopefully, I'll have it assembled tonight. Then jump on the Supercross around 10 o'clock, and then uh, fire it up in the morning and see how it runs. So, I'll come back from dinner. I'll do that. In the clutch, fill it up with fluids again. Put it all back together. Put the stock pipe back on. Uh, stop pipe down there and it's actually in really rough condition uh next week i'm gonna order the fmf so she's coming along great all right turds puppy big dog yeah whatever <laughs> okay now that was a pain in the ass the counter shaft seal i don't have a seal puller so that was kind of difficult but fresh sprocket fresh train Gold chain just looks good. So, I know I have not videotaped any of the things that I've done, that I've said I've done. So, I'm not a liar, I actually do these things. So, I'm gonna try and do a time lapse of this clutch cover if I can stay focused. So, let's do that real quick. Alrighty, day number five of the slowest person in the world. So I had a little hiccup and uh, one of those rings was not set right and the pin would not sit in place. So I took it all apart this morning and figured it out, slapped it back together. So now I finally tightened down correctly. Uh, just put the new gasket on there. So all it's up to do is put this cover on, torque it, fill it up the oil and check for leaks, fill up the coolant, check for leaks, put the fuel tank on, the shrouds, the seat, this, that, and the other, the pipe for sure. Um, but these weren't really bad, but you can see the discoloration that there was a little, little burn up. Uh, 
these small bores ride the crap out of the clutch. It's the only way to do it. And it's super fun too, um, but I weigh around 200 pounds. So it's a little small for me, but I'm just out here for the joy of it, not really for the competitiveness. Um, it's just something fun to do, you know. So we'll get the fluids back in her and uh, next clip uh, should be starting it. So let's get to it. All right, we're back. I just turned on the fuel. No fuel leaks. Oh, well, I guess I gotta rebuild my pet cock now. It's always something. It's It's got 80 hours on it, so it's an old bike. But man, does it look good. New seat cover, top end, everything, so. Yeah, here she is. Uh, well, let's see what happens, I guess. She sounds like she wanted to fire a little bit there. Maybe some choke here. It's probably gonna be very smoky. Great success. All right. See you guys next time. <laughs> 